So I am showing these with an already imported head to show what else it does. Now normally somewhere in our process we would apply all transforms. With the update to my transforms plugin I did add a button to more quickly apply all transforms. I advise actually doing this now on import. With heads in particular it will also automatically make the ears go into the correct position. When we import the meshes they will always be at a 90 degrees angle on the x axis so when applying transforms it will make them zero the button i added on my plugin just speeds up the process this button will make the process of removing the extra lods on import less tedious as any mesh in the active selection that has the name LOD1, 2, 3 or 4 will be deleted when clicking on the button Delete LODs in Selection under the BG3 Other added in the new LODs plugin update. This was technically in one of the last releases but I thought I would show it and explain its purpose, since you might be thinking, well, aren't they already LOD 0? Well, yes, they are, but we only want LOD 0 only for our tabs or companions assets. Then we also have to change LOD distance to 0. So what this button does is automate that process by changing LOD distance to 0 on all the selected meshes when clicking the button. This update also applies to the change LODs 1, 2, 3 and 4, but it's better shown with create LODs. So what this update to this part of the plugin does, is when you change or create a LOD, it will update the mesh data name to match the object data name as shown. So, why did I include this? if I already have apply transforms button. Well, sometimes we want to rotate our assets and make sure the rotation remains zero. So what this button does is rotate the given assets on a 90 degrees angle by default. But if we change the 90 degrees to whatever degree we want, when clicking rotate X and apply, it will rotate the selected at the given degrees and then apply the transforms. So no need for pressing the Apply All Transforms button afterwards. So when creating hers and using Conform to Original GR2 or any other mesh that requires that button in Islib, we want our mesh data name to match the mesh data name of the asset we are conforming to. So what my button does is when you have your her or asset selected and the asset you're conforming to in Blender, it will copy the mesh data name from the active mesh to all the other meshes selected. The asset you're conforming to has to be the active mesh, otherwise you copy the name from your mesh to the conforming mesh. 